New York Giants does going yet again. It is Felix from LYNews.com. And can you feel it? Can you feel it in the air tonight? Or can you see it? If you take a look at Google Maps, a new river has formed in Houston. How did it form? It formed with the tears of Houston Astros fans. They're all crying over there in Houston. Let's send our deepest condolences to the Astros fan base who are about 99% bandwagon fans. So, where do the Yankees fail and where do the Nationals succeed versus the Astros? The answer to that is simple. Starting pitching and hitting with runners in scoring position. And before you say the Nationals literally got swept at home three games and they didn't hit for nothing. When the Nationals were on, you saw them bunting. You saw them stealing bases. You saw them playing small ball. The same formula I would like to see the Yankees take next season. I call it the DJ LeMahieu formula. Forget about hitting home runs. I want to see players hit for high average, get close to 200 hits per season. You know, the home run ball is entertaining, but it's only entertaining when one man or two guys get on fire like that season Aaron Judge had when he hit over 50 home runs. I don't care about breaking records as a team. The only way that's entertaining, in my honest opinion, is when a player catches fire and is chasing some kind of record. Baseball to me is entertaining when players hit for average, get those hits, hit with runners in scoring position, and oh yeah, the big old elephant in the room. Get starting pitching. Get an ace. Get an ace or two. This is what the Yankees have been missing for years since CeCe Sabathia. CeCe Sabathia was the last great ace that the Yankees went out there and signed to a legit contract. You can't make the argument about Tanaka, but comparing CeCe to Tanaka, CeCe in his prime was literally one of the best pitchers in baseball. This is what the Yankees need to do. I mean, it's obvious the Astros and the Nationals reached the World Series because they had the best rotations. Strasburg, Scherzer, Verlander Cole. In MLB's history, we have seen that if you have a duel of aces, chances are you're going to win the World Series. Johnson, Schilling, and so on and so on. I don't want to hear about using your bullpen to win games. Forget about starting pitching. I mean, throw that out the window. The Yankees supposedly had the best bullpen, and the Astros completely exposed the Yankees as... The Yankees used their bullpen to the maximum and they got tired out. Meaning, you need to go out there and get pitchers that are going to give you six to seven innings. Like the old days. That's what the bullpen is for. Not the fourth inning, not the fifth inning. The later innings of a ball game. The Yankees need to just do a complete overhaul of this, you know, the bullpen is going to win you the World Series. Obviously, it's great to have a great bullpen. But obviously, the Astros completely, like I said, exposed the Yankees this ALCS. I like what the Yankees did, firing Rothschild. But I truly believe that the Yankees need to let go of Marcus Thames. And they need to let go of this mentality that you need to hit home runs to win games. Look at how the Nationals beat the Astros. Playing small ball. Getting those clutch hits. Hitting with runners in scoring position. Having great starting pitching. And yes, before somebody corrects me, I know his name is Marcus Timms. Look, there's been two Puerto Rican managers that have won the World Series back-to-back. You know, baseball is a superstitious game. In my honest opinion, Carlos Beltran is out there. The Mets are looking to make him their next manager. His, you know, his stock has gone up after Dave Martinez has won the World Series, another Puerto Rican manager, the second in a row, the first being Alex Cora. I mean, if you could get Carlos Beltran as your hitting coach for the Yankees, do it. I'm just saying. I'm superstitious as well. So there you have it about, let's see, four pitchers, is it, that the Yankees passed up on were showcased in this World Series? You know, the Yankees just need to stop playing around and show Cole the money. But if these are the same Yankees that we are going to continue to see, there's a high possibility that the Yankees are going to pass up on Cole and if Strasburg opts out on him as well. 
and just sign a guy like Wheeler. So Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Did I leave something out? If you think that I left something out about how the Nationals beat the Astros where the Yankees couldn't, leave your opinions in the comment section below. So Yankees fans, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time. Before it hits the front page, NY.